Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In the last video, I have guided you how to download and how to create Fortin Get accounts. I have downloaded this file in zip versions and then I have ex extracted in this. And you can see these these are VM files. So now we we are going to deploy this VMs file on my work sessions. So you just go on your work sessions go to on the home buttons and open virtual machine click on open virtual machine after that select 14 get vm6 file and click on open once you click on open then it asking for terms and condition then click i accept terms and condition click on next then here you need to create vm vm name uh, you can create vm name i am giving new give name uh, new and then you can change path otherwise you can keep continue click on import once you click on our import then 14 get vm file will import it on your firewalls now what we need to do click on edit once you click on edit then select ethernet uncheck all ethernet port click on uncheck one by one like i am doing because there are a lot of ethernet ports so my first will be lan port and second adapter will be lan so i need to create lan segments so click on here so i have already created lan subnet but i need to remove here also this will i will remove here i will create and lan lan subnet lan adapter global lan segments click on add then again click on lan subnets and cl click here and select this and click on save now you can see the adapter to each lan sub segments and adapter one each WAN subnets after that once you do these setups then go to edit edit sections and virtual network editor click on change setting yes click on change setting and select here your Wi-Fi adapter or physical LAN adapter or physical Wi-Fi adapter. So I am my lab desktop is connected directly Ethernet cables. So I am connected here. So this will directly uh, communicate with port one. It means WAN. So you can just click here and click on save. Once you click on save, then all parameters configurations has been done as per basic requirement. After that. After that, you just turn on again. We need to edit this port and this port means port one and port two connect to power on. Then click on OK. This is basic settings, it is mandatory, it and it is required. After that, click on the virtual machine power on. Please do like I am doing. If you get any error, then please write email or give me comments. I will definitely revert your question answer. It is very easy setups, so don't panic. It's very small and <laughs> it's very easy, really. Well, you you can see on my screen. I am going to click on full screen. So that you can get 100% visual and uh, it is scanning disk day of 100% and serial number this 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 disk you just changes please wait for reboot now machine is again rebooting then once machine is ready then we will create a passwords and after that we will create one we will configure one port and then we will configure LAN ports and then we will check machine is running or not. I will do step by step. If you get any error, you can 
directly hit on my youtube comments and definitely i will revert on your question answer so formatting partition is i think done and now it will go for uh, login page maybe yeah system is going down uh, now system is rebooting and page stand while rebooting wow the system is rebooting again okay loading root fts gz okay it is rebooting system is starting you can see page do like this and uh, don't panic and 100% you will configure if you get error then definitely reach out to me and uh, starting serial number is this 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 now what will happen what will happen oh oh 14 get login page so okay the default username is admin default password is na just click hit enter again create new password i am creating new password again enter then create new password confirm new password then welcome you have successfully logged in your 14 gate now what you can see you can check set sys status unknown no issue don't worry we will configure uh, port config system interface click on enter then edit port 1 edit port 1 set mode dhcp because why dhcp because my wan is dhcp mode so that's why i am uh, selecting dhcp click on enter then set role when we i am setting the this port uh, port 1 is role when and then set alias when okay after that ab, uh, now we we will allow ping telnet ssh so that command is set allow access http https telnet telnet ssh ping now hit enter button now we will show you can see uh, these parameters we have configured like this 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 modern mode dhcp allow access this 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 okay now we going to next and edit port number 2 which is lan set mode static sorry i have type typo error set mode static where i did missed oh 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 i got i got i got i got i, I have uh, do mistake here edit port 2 set mode static after that set roll lan now we are configuring lan port click on lan and after that set ip you can configure any anything any ip uh, don't uh, recommendation any so i am just configuring 10 dot 10 dot 100 dot 1 slash 24 network just hit enter set allow access http https telnet ss 
h and ping hit enter after that set alias internal internal and click on end now we we will see all configuration so get system interface physical hit enter you can see you can see here the port number one automatically getting ip address and port number two is starting uh, static static mode and uh, port number one in dscp and this machine is getting ip address this is this and port number two is static so this machine on on the static static mode and port number three na we don't configure so you can see is digital now again i am going to so so i got this ip address this is my firewall one port ip address so now i need to connect this port so 192.168.29.41 this is my firewall ip so i need to go here i need to go here after that click on here and once 192.168.29.41 what is 40 it is 42 okay 42 and hit sorry oh oh, oh sorry sorry 192 168 29.41 just hit and you can see now friends you can see i have successfully got login page now i am click on my username and password and you can sorry guys i have enter wrong password and you can see it is asking for license and here are multiple options full license 14 flex token evolution license so i am going to click on evolution license login to 14 care to activate vm trial so i am going to put here my email address avinash and my password is to activate so here you can click on ok updating license will be cause the system will reboot do you want you can click on yes confirm i want we have i have clicked there and now you can see license downloaded successfully and system is rebooting now system is rebooting so we need to wait until firewall registered we need to wait also we can check our uh, vmware you can see it is rebooting system is starting so we need to wait it is very big video because uh, it will taking time so i am not missing any point so i am covering step by step so it will take time you can see i got a license number and also the system is rebooting so can i refresh this page uh oh i am refreshing this page might be it will take time because uh, wow now i got uh, login page again and i am login with my account and you can see uh, i i got uh, 14 get setup begin and uh, it is uh, asking migrate configuration with 14 converter so i am clicking on letter and it is automatic patch upgrade and uh, enable automatic patch upgrade version v7.4 
डिले ओके सेव एंड कंटिन्यू एक्नोलेजमेंट यू नीट क्लिक ऑन एक्नोलेजमेंट देन क्लिक ऑन सेव इन डैशबोर्ड सेटअप ओके नो इशू लेटर आई विल सेटअप डैशबोर्ड एंड इट इज शोइंग वर्जन्स एंड आई एम गोइंग टू क्लिक ऑन डोंट शो अगेन वाव यू कैन सी आई हैव सक्सेसफुली कन्फिगर्ड फोर्टीन गेट फाइव आर and you can see all that dashboard is here all details is here uh, if we can go in network sections network and uh, interfaces you can see i have created two interface one is 10.10.100.1 lan and another one port wan and it is ip address is getting 192 168 29 it is ip address and you can see in the red icon it is uh, 14 gate is not recommended to create like this uh, to open https and telnet so that's why it is uh, showing on the red so we have successfully configured 14 gate firewalls so please try to configure as per my video if you getting any errors so please contact me i will definitely help you and this is license version you can see it i have got license this is my license server address and everything is running going well this is virtual machine and evolution license f g v m e m license evolution license status so i have got license i i think it will work for 25 days or 30 days after that i need to renew this license but i will create all video and i will test it to another vm so please like and subscribe my youtube channels jaind